Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3, Retro Pi 3.7, and I wanted to show you guys a couple Dreamcast games running in the new Retro Pi 3.7. I do have my Raspberry Pi 3 overclocked to 1400 megahertz, 1.4 gigahertz. I also have my GPU overclocked to 450 megahertz, and my memory split is set up to 512. So the GPU can use half of the RAM that's included with the Raspberry Pi. Let's get into it. I am using a wireless Bluetooth PlayStation 3 controller. And first game we're going to test is Jet Set Radio. I'm going to press A. And I'm going to show you here that I have my resolution set to 720 by 480. Now this will definitely allow you to play these games at a higher frame rate. We're going to launch Jet Set. Okay, I will try this lady. Let's go. The performance is not all that bad with this um, CPU overclock. I was hoping I could get a little further. I am going to be purchasing a new power supply for this unit. Hopefully I can find a 3 amp power supply that definitely puts out 3 amps. You really need a good power supply. I may just get the stock Raspberry Pi power supply. It is at 2. Ah! It's at 2... 2.5 amps! Jeez, come on. Well, I hit the wrong button several times, so that'll cause that. That was the correct button, and I was supposed to jump on the car. Come on. Finally. Okay, I'm gonna get serious here, lady. destroying people's cars. I need to get some speed up here. So yeah, it's a little laggy. But it's not that bad for the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to exit out of this game. We're going to try some Marvel vs. Capcom 2. One of the go-to games for the Dreamcast. I'm going to take you for a ride.
my main man Cable, hook up with a Psylocke, and we'll do some Strider. can go a little lower with the resolution also if you'd like to and you will get a better gameplay experience but or frame rate experience the sprites will be very very pixelated so But this game is really, is very playable on this, um, at this resolution, at this frame rate. And I did try this game at 720, and it's not far off from this. Oh my, she just destroyed me. Come on, Strider, where are you? There we go. Hoping to pull off the three person combo here, but it's not going to happen. The three person special. Oh. Alright, so you see that game runs pretty good. Next game we will try is. Let's do Crazy Taxi. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I had to turn the sound down on this game. I totally forgot. Come on, back up. I'm not going to pick anybody up. I'm just going to cruise through here so you can see the performance. Not too bad. So yeah, Crazy Taxi isn't too bad. It's pretty playable. Next up, Power Stone 2. Let's turn the sound back up on the game. So yeah, guys, the uh, Raspberry Pi 3 is getting much better support for emulation station emulators. We got some really decent playable frame rates here, and hopefully in the near future, developers can get this working a little better, and I'm sure they will. There's a lot of people who love coming back to the Raspberry Pi. Just like I've said in other videos, I have right now on my desk in front of me six other devices that I can play full speed emulators on but I always love coming back to this just I don't know what it is and this dude sucks man this freaking chef guy is horrible I knew I should have chose somebody else I wanted to get power stone man turns into a giant did I just die yeah oh my gosh okay guys that's the overclock raspberry pi 3 
on RetroPie 3.7, running some Dreamcast games. Now we are at a lower resolution, but gameplay is pretty decent. It's a lot better than it has been in the past with other Raspberry Pi units, and I really do enjoy using this thing. So stay tuned for more if this helps you out at all, if you like it. Um, hit that like button and subscribe for me, guys, because that really, really keeps me motivated to keep going. So, like always, thanks for watching.